Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu. I'm with my friend, Scott Kibowitz, who is the blogging wrangler and community liaison for Imagely. Now, that's a mouthful, and I said, hey, Scott, what's up with the, with the long title? And he came up with a great answer. But before we get to all of that stuff, I wanted to let you all know who Scott is. Scott is a phenomenal resource when it comes to photography. He's got his own courses. He's got his own website. But he's also a busy guy with Imagely. This is a company that he, we're going to talk about. Um, he's an incredible resource because if ever I have a question about WordPress, Scott is number one on the list for me to go bug because he knows his stuff about WordPress. <laughs> um, I don't know how much he appreciates that or not, but I want to say thank you uh, for helping me out all these other times that uh, I've, I've had to deal with my own blog and you've been an incredible help, incredible help. You wouldn't even know. Uh, but I want you to know now. So thanks for joining me today, my friend. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. And, you know, you know the, the feeling's also mutual. Um, as, as you know, uh, when my wife and I got engaged, um, we actually took the commute up to you mm -hmm. so, that I would, so that I could have you photograph our engagement photos. Absolutely. So, the feeling is mutual, my friend. <laughs> that, was, that was great. That was great. Um, let's jump in, man. Uh, I think people are curious. There's a new company called Imagely. What's up with that? Yeah, so it's not a new company. Um, oh. It is, however, rebranding of a company. So uh, in the WordPress space slash photography space, um, there lies Photocrati. Photocrati has been around for five or six years at this point, and started out with this all-inclusive photography theme for photographers. I say all-inclusive because it's a theme that is designed so you can easily switch between designs. You don't need to install something new. You just quickly push a button and your site design changes. But it also included galleries built in, gallery functionality built in. It included album functionality and e-commerce and all these different things. And Photocrati, the company, so we have that that theme mm -hmm. also makes a plugin called Next Gen Gallery. It's one of the most popular plugins of all time for WordPress. Uh, 1.3 million people are using the free version. Oh my goodness! Wow. Um, and then there's a premium version called Next Gen Pro, which is really, really suited for photographers. Which also adds these gallery functionality with a, the addition of uh, e-commerce and proofing and digital downloads. All this stuff built into your one WordPress site. Um, but there is a little bit of confusion and there's sort of, there's the Photocrati site and there's the Next Gen Gallery site and there's this product and this product and this place to go and this place to go. We, we recognize a lot of different pain points in the industry, both on the photography and WordPress side. And um, we decided to consolidate everything under one roof, rebrand, restructure, and that's where Imagely is born. Now, Imagely is still um, coming soon. So anybody who goes to imagely.com, even when this comes out, our uh, tentative launch date, now I can't say that, you know, 100%, we're aiming for uh, 2016, January of 2016 for that's, our... That's coming up, Scott. It is coming up, but um, that's for the initial launch, and we're going to launch as sort of a, as a beta. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, we're hoping to have the initial setup um, done by, by January. Um, but anyway, so Imagely, if you go to Imagely.com right now, it's sort of just a placeholder. And um, part of the Imagely new rebranding is we're also launching hosting, um, which we can talk about in a little bit. But um, so that is uh, that is where Imagely came from. We're the same nine people. We're a very small team, um, all scattered around the world. But uh, new name. So <laughs> Yeah, that's great. So you, you're... You're not quite sc starting from scratch, but at the same time, you are bringing everything uh, in under one roof and sort of scaling from there, right? Yeah. So instead of Photocrati being the name of the company and the name of a product, mm -hmm. Photocrati is becoming just a product. Imagely is the brand. We're sort of pulling a Google with what they did with Alphabet. Okay. Oh, so that sounds great. Um, let's talk about this 
interest in WordPress. I know we've already mentioned many times already how incredibly resourceful you are with WordPress. How is Imagely going to be deploying WordPress for photographers? Is that the, the end goal? Yeah, so uh, I mentioned we recognize there's pain points, right? So when you go to different trade shows like Photo Plus, WPPI, there's a lot of uh, companies and names and brands and and software being thrown around in conversations. The one thing that you never see discussed is WordPress. And the interesting thing is WordPress is used by 25% of the internet. That means one out of four photography websites or any websites one out of four are ran on WordPress. Now, you and I are talking, we both run on WordPress. You sure right? are. Yeah. So <laughs> WordPress is used by a lot of websites. And the reason why that we, that from all we've gathered from different photographers, the reason why it's not discussed is because it's difficult, right? Now I'm using quotes, um, but there's also the, the idea of, there's features that are lacking that don't exist for WordPress, right? So um, what we're planning on doing is in this consolidation, we're also launching turnkey photography websites with our hosting platform. So we're, we're launching, basically, Imagely is going to have a managed WordPress host. Now, right now, Tiffin, uh, the, you know, your, the, the website is, is, is ran on WP Engine, right? A host. That's right. So... Imagely is going to be the same thing, but for photographers, right? So instead of us going out and saying, hey, we're a hosting company, like 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 uh, GoDaddy, come to us. We're saying, you're a photographer, you need a photography website that is on WordPress, that has all the features that you would want anywhere else. You can do it all in one spot with a very low monthly fee, all inclusive, right? So you come to the site, you sign up for hosting, and you get your you get your domain, you get your host, you get uh, all the themes that you would need if you want. You know, now themes being the WordPress uh, WordPress theme, which is the look of your website, and then you also get all the plugins that a photographer would need, all already installed, like an SEO plugin, an analytics plugin, your gallery plugin to sell your photos, to proof your photos, um, a bunch of things like that, all included. We're also going to be building a wizard. So when you sign up, you get your site. The first time you launch your WordPress site, it walks you through, you know, uh, everything that you would need to get started out of the gate. Um, but uh, so that solves the pain point of WordPress being difficult is having everything done for you. And then all you got to do is pick the look and finish the wizard set up and you're done. Um, the part that of features missing or I could also say feature equivalency of what does not exist right now in WordPress. So um, a lot of photographers, now I said one out of four use WordPress. Those, that 25% are also running a photo shelter or a smug mug or a Zenfolio or something else to do their e-commerce. And yes, right now we can do e-commerce and we could sell your photos. You can do proofing, all that stuff on WordPress using what we call NextGen Pro. Um, but there's no lab integration, which is what a lot of photographers want. So we're building that. Now that's a big project. Um, that is actually gonna be built into NextGen Pro. So anybody with a uh, current subscription to NextGen Pro will get access to lab integration. And then anybody who's on the hosting platform will also get in, you know access to lab integration. So um, that's a, a ginormous project and something that we're very proud of and very excited to see out there. But that is one thing that will really change everybody's view on WordPress. Fixing the pain point and getting the feature equivalency done just solves so many issues and hopefully will allow people to talk about WordPress uh, like any other software or tool that they talk about. That sounds great, uh, Scott, really, because I know tons of people who've come up to me and said, hey, one of the things I don't blog, for instance, is because... I don't know how to set something up on, on WordPress. Right. Or, or they'll say, I don't like to write, but that's another issue. <laughs> um, here, here's my question for you. When mm -hmm. it comes to uh, using Imagely moving forward, starting in January and on, uh, you're saying basically that a photographer who's interested in having a, a website essentially set up for them can come to Imagely and say, I'm ready to be set up uh, 
with Imagely for a website, uh, all they would need to do is buy a domain name, or would that be something that they can buy through you? They can buy it through us too. They can buy it through you. Okay, that's great. And the mm -hmm. next step would be to, you know, obviously set up uh, the website and uh, uploading images and things like that. Right. Uh, how much, in terms of uh, support? I know you've talked about a wizard supporting mm -hmm. uh, or setting up uh, the site for a photographer, but how much? online or offline or in terms of a phone call support would there be for somebody who is still right. reluctant to to jump yep. jump onto uh, uh, this incredible opportunity to have a website all all done for them yeah so before i talk about the actual like one-on-one -on -one support idea sure uh, i also want to make sure that it's it's out there that um if you already have a wordpress website and you want to come to the platform we also do free migrations and that is sort of, that's not an automated thing. That's you actually sign up, you contact the support team through the, you know, I want to migrate your my site button. Mm -hmm. And someone will actually work with you to do that migration. So, um, that, and that's a big thing. A lot of people are scared about that. You know, I want to come, but I don't know what to do type of thing. So, um, okay. So the way that Photocrati and NextGen Gallery has worked all this time is we don't have phone support, you know. Um, we do, however, have email support and we reply two times. Uh, we have, we reply as many times as you need. That, that was the wrong word. We have what we call, um, inbox clears and we do that twice a day. So every morning by 10 AM Eastern time, we do an inbox clear. We make sure that every person who has sent an email from the day before or overnight mm -hmm. has been replied to. We also have another one at 4 p.m. Eastern time, right? So every single email that comes in, every support request that comes in, we'll get a reply to. The hosting is going to be very different. Now, hosting is going to be 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There will be someone to reply to a hosting query. Two different support systems. If you're going to buy our products a la carte, so if you're going to buy our products, um, you know, you'll just have the, the same support system that we've always had. Um, or if you have, if even if you have hosting, if it's not a hosting related question, then you're going to be brought to the to it to to inbox clears a day support team rather than a twenty four seven hosting. If you have a hosting support, need. but the but the support is is uh, included, right? There's oh no, yeah, there's yeah. No extra charges for any of that, right? Nope, no support's included. Um, it's also worth mentioning that uh, pricing wise. Um, what our goal is to not require any commissions on any of the print lab stuff. So literally what you we say is the price per month, that's what you're paying. So it's a flat rate, essentially? Yeah. Um, so we, our goal, and we're, this is still not finalized. Again, this is all tentative. We're going to have two um, tentatively two pricing levels for hosting. Uh, one, the first one being the base plan, which is $20 a month. And then the uh, what we're... Um, nicknamed right now, I don't know what we're going to wind up calling it, the VIP plan, which is going to be $50 a month. Um, and it basically depends on how much bandwidth, how much traffic your site gets. If you're a newer photographer just starting out, you don't need the higher plan. So, um, so yeah, it, it's uh, it's pretty cool what, <laughs> what we're working on. I'm, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited about it as a WordPress and user and a photographer. Um, I'm, of course, I'm also excited as an Imagely you know, employee, but uh, it's just an exciting adventure. Uh, what, what, in terms of uh, obvious clear benefits that are for a photographer that, you know, a lot of the pain, as you'd called it, mm -hmm. uh, is taken care of, is, is eased up on. Uh, if, the, you know, if, if in the event that uh, a photographer has questions about setting up particular plugins or mm -hmm. particular uh, features that aren't part of the standard install. Right. Wh what do they do? Do they do they didn't have to contact you and uh, request those things be added, or is that something no, that no, they can do it themselves? They can do it themselves. They can install whatever themes and whatever plugins they want. Okay. So if they just want to come and just have the hosting, they could just use the hosting and be satisfied that they're getting backups. That they're going to have you know make sure that their site's up to date and that they're not worried about security and that kind of things. Um, so yeah, it's it's we're not limiting anything. Um, that's the beauty. You know, you go somewhere like Squarespace, for example. 
Um, they've got some pretty pretty designs, but you're limited to what they give you. The beauty of WordPress is you own it all, right? So yes, you're paying us for hosting, but everything you do on your site is yours. You own it all, you own all the content, and you can install whatever you want. Now, there might be some cases where we um, pr prohibit or forbid certain plugins, plugins that are known to be resource intensive. Um, there's a many out there. WP Engine, for example, who you host with, has their list. We might go through and just mimic that list if we want to. Um, it, 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 because a lot of plugins that have been vetted, unfortunately, in that direction, need to be pushed away because they are just way too resource intensive. But, um, but yeah, so pretty much uh, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time you can install whatever you want. Um, right now, we're not even limiting anything at all. So um, right now it's 100%. But awesome. that could change slightly, like I just said. That's, that's great. Uh, my, my next question to you is about design. I know we, you'd already indicated that uh, you can have any kind of a theme that you want to import mm -hmm. in and use whatever you'd like. Uh, what kind of support are you going to be able to give a photographer who doesn't really have time to figure even that out and wants somebody to design or custom design right. a, a site for her or him? Yep. What, so, kind of, what, what would you say to that person? So part of what we're going to be doing is um, we're going to have the ability for our customers to get sort of discounted rates on custom work. So uh, if a customer wants a custom design, they can fill out a query. We will find a person that we have vetted that uh, can do the job that they need and in potentially in a price point, if we depending on how we do the query, um, possibly even in the price point that they can afford, and we will make that connection. Um, so we want to make WordPress easy one way or another. And if a person can afford a custom design, which is fantastic, um, then you know we'll connect that person with whoever can do the job for them. Awesome. Um, my last question to you, Scott, is about uh, security and keeping things redundant and making sure that there's backups and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, where would someone would, would someone hosting with you be responsible for their own backup or are you taking that on as well and saying, hey, every night we're going to have a backup of the, the site? What, what is your, what is your yeah, strategy so on that? We're going to have daily backups, okay. um, security scans. So the server is always checked for security vulnerabilities. Um, of course, there'll be like if there's a, a plugin that's out there that has a known vulnerability, we'll make sure that's a forced update. Um, uh, and so uh, the other thing that we are working on is to get a CDN support as well. So that'll be there. And then also staging sites is in the works so that can you can you tell us a little bit about CDN? Because some people may not yeah, know what yeah, CDN yeah. is. So, so a CDN is basically a content delivery network. So think of um, Amazon, for example, has one they call S3. And basically what this is, is Amazon gives developers a cloud to work with. And you can upload whatever you want in the cloud and distribute it wherever you want. And the beauty about this is Amazon's cloud has servers everywhere in the world. And it's very redundant. So your, if you upload an image, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's, here, it's everywhere, right? It's in the cloud. And so a CDN on a website means that you can have your images uploaded and distributed from the CDN, which makes your website load on people's computers and phones faster because now it's loading from servers that are closer to where the where these viewers are. Um, so the beauty is your site sort of your site's content, the images are backed up in multiple places in theory. But it also delivers to your end viewer fast, which is uh, very, very important. Now, the Imagely servers itself are going to be fast. Um, but the CDN just adds an extra layer of, of speed, which is just a very valuable thing to, awesome. uh, to be able to have. Yeah. And you mentioned uh, the other thing that you were going to have uh, for photographers in addition to the CDN was what? Uh, the backups and staging sites. What are those? What is what's a staging site? Right. So, 
this is a newer concept in the WordPress space. And it's something that's very valuable to people who like to tweak their sites quite often. So you've got your live site right here, right? Your live site has this one design that you've, that you've liked for a little bit, but a new season's coming up. You decide you want to change your site design. You update your staging site. So now you've got a clone, an identical clone over here. And it's not fully public. It's private. You make a couple adjustments. Now, instead of it being like this, it's like this, right? So now you've got a slight difference. But then when you're ready to say, okay, I like what I did. Let's push it live. It goes like this. So now your staging site is gone and your staging site becomes your live site. Got it. Okay. Excellent. That makes it easier for people who are, uh, well, like me, like to tinker around <laughs> all the time on their websites, uh, you know, moving pixels left and right and uh, adding images, video, whatever it is. Yeah. You know, if you'd like to see what these things look like before they go live, I think there's nothing better than a staging site, you know, for that, you know, so that you can confirm everything looks good. And then, you know, I'm assuming it's a push of a button. You're moving an entire, the, the entire website just goes onto the live site. Yep. Um, all of this takes place, comes in, uh, Imagely comes in uh, in January 2016, so that's what people can look forward to. Is that right? Tentatively. Tent <laughs> oh well, okay. Well, well, let's 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 be positive and say yes, it's yes. going to happen. Well, it's um, definitely going to happen in 2016. We just don't know when, I guess. Right. Uh, but th this is this this little interview is a sort of a teaser in a way yeah. uh, to say, hey, listen, guys, this is your option opportunity to to get into something that will make your your lives easier. Correct. That's that's the goal. Is you to know, make, more than anything else, so, right? You know, uh, there's a couple of other things just worth mentioning for anybody who, who who's interested in what we're talking about, right? So, yes, our tentative goal is January 6, 2016. We're going to launch, like I said, in a beta mode where we're going to launch in drips. So hosting's, hosting's done, right? The hosting is out there. My website, my personal photography site, I'm hosting on what we call our VIP plan. Um, it's been on there now for three weeks. So the hosting is actually done. That architecture is done. Um, but we've got other layers to add on top of this, like the wizard. So that's still in development. The print lab integration still in development. So that won't be out of the gate. We hope for it to be out of the gate, but it may not. So we might have to push that in drips. And one of the beauty things about doing this in this beta mode is we also get to get the feedback and adjust before we go out of beta. Right. Um, so it, it's a typical Google thing that they do. Gmail was in beta for who knows how long. Um, but then the last thing is uh, about Imagely as a whole as making things easier is we're also launching the education side of this. So we're going to have, aside from having a la carte plugins and themes, besides from having the hosting, which everything makes it, you know, which makes it for t easier for photographers, we're also launching um, uh, a series of ebooks and possibly some courses um, that might be a la carte, might be as, as in, in packages. Um, we haven't figured that out yet, but about all different topics related to a photographer's website. And we'll have simpler ones, we'll have more advanced ones. Um, the kicker on top of it all is going to be we're going to launch our own podcast, the WordPress Photography Podcast, where we get photographers to come on and talk about how they're using WordPress and why. And... Um, with a couple other fun tidbits in, in mixed in, but the idea is to get people outside of Imagely to talk about how it makes their lives easier um, to use WordPress. And we don't even care if we're talking about the competition because our goal is not to get uh, is our goal. Our goal is just to get the education out there and to make to make it easier for photographers. So whether you're using a competing gallery plugin or a competing theme, we don't care. Um, we just want to make it so that photographers know that we've got your back and we want to make WordPress more of a tool and less of just, this is what my website's on. Awesome. So. Great. Thanks uh, for joining us today, Scott. I look forward to uh, digging more into Imagely when things go live. And uh, who knows, maybe Tiffin Box will, will move to Imagely and be a part of the Imagely family. I, I'm not so sure uh, at this point in time, but you know, we'll see. You know, I'm looking yep. forward to it. Uh, you've, you, as I said, you've, you know, your WordPress man, uh, and I trust everything will go as planned as you've, as you've uh, sketched it out. 
um, speaking with you and also uh, Imagely's uh, uh, founder, Eric, during the Photo Plus Expo was wonderful. Uh, it was a great honor to be a part of that sort of small meeting uh, uh, <laughs> right outside of Starbucks. And uh, just to get a sense of you know where, what, what the direction of the company is, is right now, uh, it's exciting times really for 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 photographers i mean i know it's exciting for you because you're yeah. launching something new but i think it should be an exciting time for photographers too because finally i think they're going to have a wordpress uh, a resource a wordpress tool that'll get everything under one roof and and they'll they'll they can just go about making beautiful images again so yep thanks for doing this man appreciate yeah. it yeah no thank you take care bye mm-hmm.